everyone, Yensid Organist here, and welcome to another episode of Orglecraft. Hope you guys are having a great day today. I apologize that it has been a while. This summer has been nothing like I expected, in a good way. Um, I got an opportunity to do a theater camp at the school where I work, um, and that is ate up a lot of my time in the last couple of weeks. It's um, basically an all-day camp, and we do a little bit of a show at the end of it. But yeah, kind of ate up all of my time, and then I was out of town visiting family, so it's been a busy, busy time. Why are there command blocks up here? I don't remember what this is for. <laughs> Obviously, I put this here for something. Let's see. I can't access this in um, survival mode. I wonder... And why do I have two of them here? I'm sure there was a reason that I put these in here. All right. Well, let's just switch to creative and find out what they are. Oh, spectator. And oh, I know what this is. This was for da -da, doing a uh, time lapse long, long ago. Uh, that's not survival mode. There we go. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. I can get rid of those because now that the ship is done... Well, you know, the, the structure is done. Um, I don't need to worry about doing time-lapse footage anymore. How do I get into the hangar now? I didn't think about that. One of the things we will need to be doing sometime in the near future is creating um, access points to this. Because, yeah, it's going to start to get more and more difficult to get around here. So we'll go into creative and we'll just destroy those. And then, of course, I don't need the buttons, so we'll just do that, and then we'll go back to survival. Good. All right. So, anyway, uh, last episode, we built the hangar, this massively massive structure here, and also designed a TIE fighter that we have over here. This is not going to stay here. Um, I think that we're basically going to have a whole bunch of them hanging from the ceiling, because I think I've got other things that I want to put on the floor of the hangar. Today we are going to design some more ships, but before we do anything, there is a project that I am two months late on doing, and that is to update the patron village over here. So my longtime supporter and friend and now patron Marodim has been a supporter for eight months, and when you... Um, support me on Patreon for the uh, Minecraft tier, you get a build every six months. So I'm two months late, and I'm very sorry about that. So we are going to fix that today. So this was the house that I originally built for Marodim, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a greenhouse out back. I've already cleared out an area back here um, where we're going to build this greenhouse. And before we do anything, I... I think that I know why I forced myself into um, doing the roof, not having it overlap on the edge here. But uh, and and the reason for that is is because I'm trying to keep the builds within one chunk. Well, now that we're, I had another block. I had another block. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that I built it here because it was right on the edge of the chunk border, but apparently I had a block. I feel like there must have been a reason why, but I don't know what that reason was. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's fix this right now, and I guess I'm gonna need some stairs, so hopefully, ha hopefully I brought enough. <laughs> um, I guess we'll find out. So yeah, so let's get the back of this house done. And there we go. That looks better. 
All right. Uh, better go sleep, because I've been working in the end, and phantoms are going to be a thing. So, as I said, we're going to be building a, a little bit of a greenhouse here, but before we do this, there's something that um, I feel would be appropriate for this build and that we definitely need to get, and it's another 120 thing, and that is we need some of the new flowers, which means we need some sniffers. So, I did some exploring before we did some exploring in a live stream and I found a warm ocean and I was like, you know, I kind of feel like I've explored this warm ocean before. Yeah, I definitely had explored the warm ocean before. It was only like a thousand blocks away from my base. So that didn't work. So I hopped on to chunk base and was able to find a, um, um, a, a war motion. It's really far away. Um, so, but it's also pretty large. So we should have a decent chance at finding some ruins. So we are going to head out there. I'm just going to create a nether portal um, from the nether. And then we will go explore some ocean ruins. Welcome to the really far away. We are at 9,000, negative 4,000, but as you can see, we are in a warm ocean. This is freshly generated. Of course, I came out in a cave at Y, negative 43. <laughs> so not exactly where I want to be, but that is okay. So we have a large area to explore here. Hopefully find some of those ocean ruins where we can hopefully get a sniffer egg. So I'm gonna start exploring and I'll bring you back when we find something. All right, looks like we've got something here. That's interesting that there's a floating block of sand in a place I've never been before, but there are drowned, so that does mean I've not been here before. Hopefully I can sneak up on this guy and hit him in the corner. <gasps> Did he drop a trident? Yes! Yes! Okay, this trip was absolutely worth it. <laughs> I have been wanting a second trident for so long, and now we've got one. All right, so I want to see. Let's, um, couple things. First of all, put that away. Second of all, I need the correct sword, because the one that I'm using now, not good for fighting Trident, <laughs> wielding Drowned. And then, let's see, do I have, by any chance, water breathing? Oh, I do have water breathing. Fantastic. Alright. Probably don't need night vision. And suspicious sand, and that's an emerald. I think that's just regular sand. Oh, there's some suspicious. Well, we got another sherd. And emerald. Uh, is that wheat? Yes. <laughs> Junk! This is... What was that? Oh, coal. <laughs> <gasps> yes! Yes! Here it is! We have got a sniffer egg. Yay! All right. Successful trip. That's really all I'm looking for for this. I am going to keep exploring a little bit more to see if maybe we can get a second one. Because if I get a second one, then I will never have to come out here again. Um because then we'll be able to just breed them going forward. So, yeah. Um, yeah, but I will keep looking around. If I find anything interesting, I will let you know. Otherwise, I will see you back at the Patreon Village. Welcome back, everyone. Two sniffer eggs have been acquired. So we'll just go ahead and come over here and pop them down there and there. And those will get to hatching. In the meantime, I am going to get to building. I have got some materials here. I think I need a few more, plus I've got some glass smelting here. So yeah, I am going to get this build going, and I will bring you guys back when it's finished. <gasps> we have a sniffer! Get off of your sibling! <laughs> Hi! 
Yay! And there's the other one. We have two little baby sniffers who, of course, will not be able to find any of the new plants until they grow up. Um, and, of course, I don't have anything to get them to grow up because I need the things that they dig up to be able to cause them to grow faster. So, um, they do seem to be wandering about. So I think we need a little bit of a fence here. I am out of wood. Um, okay, I'm going to get these guys corralled and then continue working on the build. Welcome back, everyone. The greenhouse is complete. So if we walk back here, here is our little building, and I've got it split up into two parts. So the front part, I guess it's the front. I, I don't know. Um, but so in here we have a little greenhouse, a little walkway, used one of the new um, pots. We've got miner, explorer, and plenty, I think, are the ones that I have on there. Um, I do have, there's another miner on the back. I thought that would be appropriate for Marodim. And then we've got the new plants over here, which have been dug up by the sniffers out there. We got some potatoes and carrots growing in here, and then just some little potted plants on a shelf. So that is the greenhouse, and then back here we have a little storage shed. So we've got some empty pots, we've got some tools, composter, and sneaky storage hidden in the floor. So a little bit of light up there. And that is our build. If we kind of walk around here, you can see the back of it. from the outside and then of course we can go up in the air and take a look at how it looks from there so yeah um i ran out of bone meal so i have not been able to bone meal the rest of this i will catch that at another time our sniffers are going to just stay over here for right now um i will relocate them at some point in the future but they have been doing good work getting the new seeds. So, um, actually, I think I have... Yeah, I have a couple of both. So I think that we can breed them. <gasps> they, they, they create a wall. <laughs> Where's the little baby? It's really creepy. It's, oh, you get an egg, and then you have to... Oh, I see. I see, I see. Okay. Um. Well, let's just take this out of here, and then we can just plant it there. That's, I can get this back, right? Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to take this with me, and... Uh, yeah, I can I can relocate sniffers that way. All right. Well, that is it for this project. I need to go put some stuff away. And then um, I want to hop over into the creative testing world and look at designing a couple more ships for our hangar. So here is the... TIE Fighter that I designed for the uh, the last episode, and I want to use this as kind of a reference point for the other two ships that I want to design today. So um, I've taken the cockpit, and the first one we're going to do is the TIE Interceptor. Uh, the cockpit is exactly the same for this one, but the wings are significantly different. So what I want to do is let's go with this. And I think that, unfortunately, we're going to probably have to use stone bricks instead of walls for this. Actually, you know what? Maybe, because of the wing design, let's maybe try this instead. And then we'll bring this out to there and there. And then let's bring it one up and one down, and then this will be a panel that comes back like this. And then let's put a wall. Uh, let's try it with just the blocks to begin with. And then here, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So there is a panel that angles in 
up here. So let's do that. And then this also comes forward. Let's maybe try three. And actually, let's curve that one. And then do we want to go like that? No. Want to go like that, maybe? And then do another one like that. Possibly. You know what? That's not too bad. Um, I feel like maybe it needs to be one block longer. So let's do that and that. And then why does that look? Oh, I see. Uh, that'll go like that. And then we'll bring... Actually, let's keep that where it is since that's a little bit more of a sharp angle. Um, and then maybe let's do, well, and we could come one off the back, but then we'd need to extend this. And then do we want to turn that? And then we'd have to bring that one like that. And then the question is, do we... Oh, actually, actually, let's try... Let's do with the stone brick at the top. And we'll turn that one in like that. And no, definitely not like that, but maybe like that. This has not helped my line. <laughs> um, I don't like that on there. Um... Which is kind of unfortunate. What if we replace these tiles with that? That then gives it a little bit of contrast. That might be good. The other thing that I may be thinking is maybe we do slabs down here. I might need to come. Actually, you know what? That could come all the way out. And then what if we did slabs along there? You know what? This isn't too bad. And then I think we come and we replace these with stone bricks as well. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm liking this. What I don't like is, um, I don't like how boxy this part is, but maybe if we replace all of these with walls? Hmm, maybe not at the end. I don't, oops, those are not the block I want. Might have to go with that. What we could do, potentially, is walls there. Ooh, that I like. Yeah, that has helped a little bit. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'm liking how this looks. Okay, so then we need to take and invert this wing for the bottom. So that's gonna come out like that. And then this stair will go like that. And then the tile will come all the way to the back. Like that. And then we do a stair. And then on this side we go like this. And then tile stairs to the front, at which point we do one of those. And then we do a stair like that. And this has to go on this side. Yes. I think this one comes... Uh, let's see, how many... We had two rows of stairs. This one is... 
this one should just be like that. And then I think here is where it turns in. It's hard to do something upside down. Uh, so one step up and then this one turns in, but it turns in there. Okay, and then that should be the same. Yes. Yep, that looks good. And then what did we do? We did a row of slabs from the bottom like that. Yeah, this looks good. The only thing I don't really like is this wall. I think I'm going to take it back to the um, smooth stone. And then I wonder about maybe doing... Oh, that's not going to connect. Oh. You know, it's not going to connect, but that doesn't look bad. I think maybe... What other walls do we have? Um, maybe andesite? Yeah, actually, I kind of like that. I think that would be good detail. And then the only thing that I am not sure about... Now that I'm looking at this, I really feel like these are still not long enough. Hmm. Well, we can work around that. Let's do... Um, We'll come back to that in a sec. The other thing is, I believe, and I'm going to have to double check this before I do anything, but I believe that the, uh, the, the laser kit, nope, that's not, oh, oh yeah, did that right, there we go, um, yeah, I believe that the laser cannons actually come off the tips of the wings for the TIE Interceptor, whereas for the fighters, they come out from the cockpit, but I believe that is correct. Now, one other thing I'm possibly thinking about is what if we replace these with stairs, just to ease that transition a little bit? We could possibly bring that. No, don't want to bring that out one more. Um, yeah, you know what? I think that's okay. Um... Yeah, okay, so let's come over to the other side then, and we're going to do um, basically the exact same thing. So we do three, and then we do two of those, and two of that, and then we bring this up like that. And then on top of that, we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is the turn. So let's try. Did I count? I counted the deep slayer. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. <laughs> so we do. I've lost my stairs again. So we do one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because we were going to try that and see if we like it a little bit longer over here. Okay. And then everything else stays the same. So this will go here. And then this one comes in right there. And then the next one will go there. Turned, right? Yep. And then we'll bring this to the back. And the back one turns like that. And then... How does that compare? I can't really tell without the bottom. So let's go ahead and make the bottom really quick. Why does this look like a full block? This shouldn't be... Oh, because it's... Ah, okay, gotcha. Wait. Oh, that was an extra. That shouldn't be there. Okay. 
And so then if we come down here, we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, those are extras. And then that goes there. Oh no, wait, that should be a that should be a bottom stair. Did I do that right over there? I did, yes. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there. And then this one turns. Is that right? Yes. And then slabs along there. All right, so then let's take a look at it from the side. So there's that versus this one. Let's put the lasers on the front. so that we can have a good comparison. I think the first one... Yeah, I think the first one is the way to go. So we'll go ahead and shorten this side up. Um, it would be so nice if there were better ways to place these. <laughs> And yeah, there we go. Okay, so we have our TIE Interceptor. Uh, my plan had been to build both of the, to design both of these on camera, but this took longer than I thought it was going to. So I think that I am going to design my TIE Bomber and bring you back when that's finished. Welcome back, everyone. Changes have been made to the hangar. Our TIE Fighter is gone. I... I have actually started doing some planning and figured I would just do a little bit of practical work and put a few TIE Fighters in. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to use these bays along the wall um, for most of our fighters. Um, and so I've got one set here of TIE Fighters. You can see we stack three very nicely. And we have these little arms that come out from the wall to hold them. I haven't decided whether or not I want to do, like, too deep on these, because then that actually gives us an entire squadron right here, which could be good. I don't know if I want to do that yet or not. So, I don't know. Be curious to hear your thoughts on that as well. Over here, we have our TIE Interceptor that we designed. Uh, we're going to do an, a, a bay of interceptors here, probably two of them. Um, and then I want to be careful because I want to save this room for um, something else that's actually going to sit on the floor. But that's what we've got. So that's what I have done thus far, done a little bit of planning. And I got our TIE Bomber designed, and I want to build it together. So I decided that the bombers are going to go opposite the interceptors. So if we turn our schematic on, we'll be able to go right here. And we're going to pop up here. Looks like I need to go one more. Yep, there we go. All right, and then I have no way to actually place this. <laughs> so we're going to do stone brick stairs right there. And we've got that all along here. And all of these are flat. And then on the other side, we've got upside down deep slate. And then these are turned. And then we have brick, deep slate, and then stone brick, and these are turned as well. I think it's easier to build an entire wing and then go do the other side, so that's why we're going to do this. So then stone bricks, deep slate, stone, deep slate, stone, and then upside down, continuing the pattern, curved, and then just 
continuing the pattern from before and going one out. And then we switch to bricks for this. So um, stone bricks and deep slate tile bricks. And then I think we are going walls for the next part. Yep. So continuing in the pattern and then blocks on the end. And then the top layer will be blocks as well. I really wish that when you had a wall beneath, you couldn't just walk off. <laughs> it makes it very difficult to place blocks. So that is the flat side of our solar panel. And then we go back to stairs, hopefully placing the correct ones. Curved at the corners and then upside down to bring it back in. And the ends of these are flat. And then we turn it in. And then all brick along the front. And that is the first of our two solar panels. And now we'll come over here and make the second one. And there's our second panel done. So now we will come down and build the body. And this is in two uh, separate modules here. So there's the, um, the cockpit side, and then there is the side that holds all of the ordnance. So we are gonna do the side first, and then this will be stairs. all along here. Basically just an elongated form of the Interceptor and the TIE Fighter. And then because I'm lazy, easy place mode to put our cannons on. <laughs> Alright, and then we have our Terracotta, which should be that way and that way. Glass pane in between, smooth stone along the body, and connecting there. Observers for our engines at the end. And then we have a couple of walls in between to join the two, so those are gonna go there. And then stairs at the top here. Just like we did before. Smooth stone along the top. Frog light and that. And then we'll drop down and do the other side. So here we have, I'm... Oh yeah, this one's a little bit different. Why? Oh, I'm a block too low, that's why. There we go. <laughs> There we go, so here, and then we have a couple of iron trap doors placed on the bottom here. And those are going to be essentially the, um, the, um, the, the bay doors for the bombs. And then we'll do our stairs. We have polished andesite here, just for a little bit of contrast. And then we'll wrap this around the back. And then on the inside, I, I used um, Deep Slate uh, Lapis. Um, I thought was a good block to kind of represent the, the ordinance that would be inside. And then our observers. Another smooth stone, trap doors along the inside. A couple of iron bars out the front. Connected to the solar panels. And now I can't get up. How did I do this on the other side? <laughs> I was probably already under it. That's probably what happened. <laughs> So then we'll wrap our stairs around again. 
and then smooth stone along the top. And I believe that that is it. So if we take a fly down here, uh, we got to get rid of our turn easy place mode off. Turn the rendering off so all of the quote unquote mistakes that you see will not be. S and now I can't place this. <laughs> There we go. Project finished. And there we go. We have our tie bomber. And this is what it looks like. So, yeah, I like how this turned out. I think it looks good. Um... Yeah, so TIE Bombers have both the ability to drop bombs, um, you know, from below, or to also fire them out the front. Um, there is technically a little thing that, like, comes off of here um, to launch missiles forward, but I couldn't figure out what to do for that, and obviously we are, you know, limited in the space that we have here within Minecraft. But I think, I think this looks good. I think it's a good representation of this fighter. And yeah, our hangar is starting to be filled up. We got a lot of things still to place, lots still to do, but I am I'm happy with how things are coming along. Guys, I think that is going to do it for this episode. I have no idea how long this is going to be. Um... But yeah, hope that you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends. If you haven't already, I would encourage you to subscribe and make sure you click that little notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my latest posts. Be sure to follow me on social media. And if you are interested in helping support the channel financially and would like to become a patron, I encourage you to visit uh, patreon.com slash Organist to get more information and see if you would like to be a supporter. Links to all this stuff is down in the description. Thanks for watching. See you real soon.